King News, my wonderful, wonderful, beautiful people. You'll be surprised. See what is going on right here and now. Tinubu's former campaign director endorses Atiku. My dear, they are going from pillar to post. Everybody has what he or she is looking for. Everybody is um, working for themselves and to a large extent, you begin to wonder what exactly is going on here. Everybody is trying to outdo the other person and everybody is going to, you know, ensure that um, they get this person, they get something out of the other person. So it's it's a lot going on right now. And so uh, Tinobu's campaign uh, director is leaving him for Atiku. But why? That's the main question. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The immediate past director of the Civil Society Directorate of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council, Najita Mohammed, who recently dumped the ruling party and consequently resigned as director of the council, has endorsed Alaji Atiku Abubakar, presidential flag bearer of the People Democratic Party, PDP. Politics Nigeria has reported that Mohammed, a former lead campaigner of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, presidential campaign of the All Progressive Congress, and his campaign, Nigeria Faces, requests her to continue campaigning for the strategy for better con country with a clear conscience. Thus, her withdrawal from the APC campaign and joining Atiku, who, he, who she believes is a better candidate and has a better perspective for the country. However, the Kano politician on Sunday said she decided to stop supporting Tinubu because he hardly thinks straight and he's neither here nor there. Yes, I am no longer supporting Tinubu. That is why I left the party. A lot has changed. He hardly thinks straight. I'm very sure of that. I can see his clips. He's not very forward thinking and he's going to be worse than Buhari from my perspective. I have I have considered this hard and long and I'm dropping down any form of religion sentiment on, and anything that could hold me down. On, however, in Kanu politics on Sunday, she says she decided to stop supporting Tinobu because the man is not coherent. I'm no longer supporting him. I'm no longer supporting Tinobu. That is why I left the party. A lot has changed. He can hardly think straight. I'm sure of that. You can see his clips. I have transited tribe, religion, and any ethnic sentiment. I, so I cannot afford to look at things with a narrow mindset or perspective. I think it is not only irresponsible, it is criminal because we have succeeded in dividing this country for selfish reasons. I don't want to continue like that. We can't continue like that. We can we can we can move f this country forward but not without getting the right person and i don't want to stand with that anymore he declared so this is what is going on um atiku and tinubu you know they are beginning to have very serious issue and then um, it is becoming a matter of uh, serious attention you know it's becoming a matter of serious attention and then um, every single person has to understand exactly what is going on here. We can't continue like this. The days upon us have come to show to us why, you know, everybody and everyone, everything that is going on is showing us, you know, that we just need to come out of everything and anything. Okay. That will not move us forward. Most of the people you are seeing, have you really considered them? Have you, have you checked their, have you checked who they are? Do you, do you trust them? Do you, do you think that they have what it takes, you know, to drive this nation in the right direction? Can you, can you vert, have you vert them? Have you considered that most of them, okay, if not all of them are really looking out for themselves? So how do we sort out this? How do we ensure that at the end of the day, we do not leave ourselves to chance? 
How do we ensure that at the end of the day, every single one of us is doing everything, humanly speaking, possible, necessary to move us forward? Because if we keep, if we keep at what we are doing now, and nobody's particularly speaking, and we're just leaving things, and then nobody will be surprised what we follow. We'll really be surprised. We'll really be surprised. And we don't want those surprises, do we? I don't think we do. I personally don't think we do. So it is high time we begin to walk and show, okay, that this nation is brought out of everything that is holding her back now. In a few, in a few days' time, we'll be having the general election. In a very few days' time. In a very few days' time. So all that is needed for us to move forward as a nation and as a people, it's now. It's high time we begin to function in those capacity, in those regards, it is high time. Okay, we begin to look at things more critically. Okay, it's high time. Nigerians, don't just stay there. At Iku and Tinubu, how many of them truly, really love this nation with the whole of their heart? Not just them, there are 18 of them and other presidential candidates. How many of them, okay, really want this nation to move forward? How many of them have the heart of the people and are doing everything possible? Okay? So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. This is what we need to do. And every single person and every single one of us that have, you know, possibility for this change to come, we are all working at it. Okay? We are all working at it and ensure that at the end of the day, we do everything possible to change this nation and bring her to where she needs to be. Okay? So it is, uh, it is a matter of, uh, you know, a matter of serious consideration, and nobody should sit back there and think that things are suddenly going to fall in place if we do not, uh, uh, if we do not uh, put ourselves to it. Okay? We must, we must ensure that we are working at it. We must ensure that everything that is needed, everything that is needed to bring this nation to where she ought to be, we are doing it. We are working at it. And we are rising up to the occasion. Yes? Remember, it's up to you and I to ensure that we bring about, you know, the, 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 the very desired nation that we dream of. Please don't forget, you are important. Every one of us must do everything, humanly speaking, possible to change the course of this nation. Yes? Remember, God bless. Bye for now.